All right, scholars, we are back. And today we are continuing our conversation about light energy. Yes, it's the light energy that's coming from this direction that allows you to be able to see me right now. Yes. And remember, I've already proven that we know that light travels in a straight line, right? I can put my light right here. And the reason that you're able to see what I'm doing is because that light is traveling in a straight line. I can do Morse code. You get the message? Can you do Morse code? That's not Morse code because I don't know it, but if I did, I'm sure I'd be saying something really, really nice. Yes, light travels in a straight line. But here's the thing about light. Light only travels in a straight line until it interacts with a medium. A medium is an object that it either hits and bounces off or an object that it travels through. For example, one medium is the air. Air is a medium. Light is traveling through this air right here. Yes, it is. Light is traveling through. And the light is moving through this medium that we call a gas. Remember, there are three states of matter. There are solids, there are liquids, and there are gas. All three of those are mediums. And when light interacts with the different mediums, we notice there are different effects. For example, if this light, let's see if we can get the, the red light, it just hits my hand. It doesn't go through my hand. You're not seeing it pop through it stops because my hand is an opaque medium, meaning that the light, zero light gets through. None of the light gets through. It hits my hand and it is right there. None of the light goes through. Another opaque medium is a mirror. The light does not go through a mirror, but a mirror is a really, really cool medium because a mirror is shiny and a mirror gives us one of the qualities of light that we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about the fact that when light hits certain mediums, a mirror being one of those, shiny surfaces being another, light is reflected, reflected. Reflection is like a basketball. When a basketball bounces, it bounces in at one angle and it comes out at the exact same angle. That's what light does when it's reflected. It hits the medium and it bounces. And what do we have to do? We have to prove it. Yes, and I love proving it. Proving it is the fun part. It gets fun when we get to prove what we believe. So how can we prove that light travels in a straight line? Well, the same light that I'm seeing right here that's hitting my hand, I can also take that light and I can shoot it into this mirror. And remember, whenever the light hits the camera, this is what it looks like. See that? That's what it looks like whenever the light hits the camera. So here we go. So if I was to take this and I shine it in here, and look, I'm not pointing it directly at you, but I'm gonna move this mirror until that light goes right over the camera, like right now, what do you see happening? Yes, that's what happened. The light hit the mirror and it bounced straight into the camera where you could see it. Is that not cool? Now always remember, we never shine a light at another person's eyes, especially lasers. That is not good for our eyes. We only get one set of eyes, and if we're blessed to have them, we need to be careful to keep them, right? One set of eyes, blessed to have them, careful to keep them. Shooting lasers into eyes, not a good idea. Never, 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 not fun. Okay, another thing that we can do to prove that light travels in a straight line is, where's my other mirror at? Oh, here it is right here. We can do two mirrors. Now it gets really, really cool, right? Because can we do a bounce, bounce? Is that a thing? Can we do a bounce, bounce? Well, let's see. If I shoot into this mirror, shooting into the red one, let's see if it's over here. Okay, I can see it on my hand right there. Now, if I catch it right here, let's see if I can get it at you guys again. Coming, coming, coming. Ah, uh, there it is. Double bounce. Ooh, yes, the light reflected off of this mirror. It reflected off of this mirror and then I was able to adjust it and reflect it towards you. In fact, did you know if the only reason that you're able to look into that mirror and to see me or to look into that mirror and to see me, I'm turning on this side, which is about the same size. Where am I? There I am. The only reason that you're able to look into both of those mirrors and see me is because the light is being reflected off of the mirror. So my reflection is being, this is so cool. Right now you're watching the TV screen. You're watching the TV screen 
and you're seeing me who's actually on the TV screen. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Oh my goodness. Like I can do crazy things and it counts three times. I'm just like, <laughs> right this is epic light is amazing and you just you heard that three times one two three light is amazing okay remember light travels in a straight line it's gonna keep traveling in a straight line unless it hits a medium and the word that we talked about today is that sometimes when light hits shiny surfaces another shiny surfaces would be another shiny surface would be this spoon I can actually take this shiny spoon and you see my computer right in the center that little light now it's not as clear it's not as visible but it's still reflecting and it's still reflecting an image so uh, one of the keys to reflection is that when light hits an object if it reflects you're going to see the same thing like look it's reflecting off of this mirror but it's you see the same me it's reflecting off of you. you see the same me if you've ever gone fishing and you looked out over the water if you've ever gone to a place that had some pretty still water and you looked out over the water you might have noticed that you saw yourself that's because the light is hitting the water and it's reflecting it's showing you your reflection that's what we call that a reflection this is awesome science is amazing right so one of the ways that light travels is it travels in a, well, light always travels in a straight line, but when light interacts with a shiny surface, like a mirror or a shiny spoon or some shiny water, the light will bounce off. It will bounce off and the light will reflect. And when light reflects, it normally shows the same or a similar image. Like this image is distorted a little bit, but you can still see that it's trying to reflect my computer and the reason that's distorted is because that is curved and we can talk about that on another day on another lesson of amazing science light is so cool i can do okay let's do a three time one i've got one i have two we have the spoon going and i'm gonna take this and see the light behind me oh right back at you what about the laser can i do the laser there it is this is so much science going on it's crazy like there's science literally all around me. Spoon, mirror, mirror, light. Spoon, mirror, mirror, light. Science is everywhere. I hope that you are loving this. Our word for the day is reflection. The light can be reflected. 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 Why? Because light is amazing. Have an absolutely wonderful day, scholars. We will be back on soon with more amazing science. <laughs>